welcome to another production of Park TV 16 Sports on location. This afternoon, we are on the campus of Benilde St. Margaret's bringing you girls varsity soccer featuring the home Benilde St. Margaret Red Knights taking on the Robbinsdale Cooper Hawks in a Metro West early matchup in this pandemic season. And we are glad you're with us. I'm Robert Christensen, glad to be with you. Haven't been on Park TV 16 Sports since February before the pandemic, and we are underway here in the 2020 season. And we're underway, Benilde in red on the left, and Robbinsdale Cooper. Hold on one second. All right, back underway, ball out of bounds. All right, ball in bounds. And sorry, a little distraction there by a concerned parent making sure that her number of her daughter is correct. And that's Avery Junker, she's number 13. And we have a player down, number three for Robbinsdale. That's Kira Snapko, just a ninth grade midfielder. Is Andrew she is straight down Assistant here. Let's look at the replay. The Let's see what happened. And Micah the Helling kick there right Kelly off Olson. the head. Ouch. The student managers for the Red and that Olivia Olson. can be tough, folks. CC she might have a concussion. Lionetti. She's still lying face down. Finally, some coaches are coming over. Is and that was Jerry off Pettinger. the foot of number 18 for Benilde, Annie Golenvo. Unintentional, of course, but it really caught her on the side of the head. She may have a neck strain as they tend to her. So we have a stoppage in play early on here. Coming into this match, Benilde St. Margaret's is 1-0, Cooper is 0-1, and they're just playing Metro West Conference games here. And now number three is Kira Snapko is up and walking off on her own power. So that's good to see. We'll check and keep an eye to see if she'll re-enter the match. And we'll see where the referees start this. So a slow start here in a late August. It's a beautiful day here in St. Louis Park, 73 degrees, gusting winds out of the northwest. Now the game for the Hawks, number 11. But overall, Anna a very Ziska. pleasant day. So into the match, number 11 is Anna Z Ziska, senior midfielder. So throwing it in on the near side in the Cooper zone is number 17. That's Ava Wagner. Junior and she'll get it going with a free kick. And now Cooper goalie has it. She'll bring it out and start the offense for Robbinsdale Cooper with a kickoff from the goalie box into midfield. Headed there by Benilde. Benilde controls. That was number two, Allie Voss, a captain. And Benilde looks awful sharp here. Nice passing there over by the 40. Now there's a chance there for number seven. That's Elizabeth Dietzen on the far side and it goes out of bounds. And possession will go to the Robbinsdale Cooper Hawks. And they'll throw it in here. Good crowd on hand here. Beautiful day just to be out enjoying the sunshine, watching varsity soccer, Metro West style. Now Cooper. On the near side, that's number four, Bella Grandbois. She's a senior captain for Cooper, and that's now number four with it. Grandois again, and it goes out of bounds, and it looks like it'll remain Robbinsdale Cooper's possession, but they are having a little difficult time getting the ball out of their zone. And it's early here. Hard to see the clock with the shine over there, what the time remaining is. It says 44 minutes, I think, 40. All right, we got a free kick on the far side line for Cooper. Ball comes in and quickly intercepted by number 18 for Benil. That's Annie Golenvo. And now Cooper tries to tackle the ball away, goes out of bounds, and that's going to be off number 11. That's Sydney Dries, the junior midfielder defender. Going over to retrieve the balls. Number 10, Jace Herman, junior defender for Robbinsdale. And she'll throw it in. And out of bounds. Benil takes over possession, quickly throws it in. Now intercepted by Grandboy. Been mentioning her name quite a bit. Keep an eye on her. She is a senior captain, probably their best player. Now Benil has it. 
They come in to the zone here, and a shot on net gets deflected and out of bounds. And that will be Robbinsdale Cooper's ball. So looking at the schedule coming up here for Benil, they played Blake and they beat them one nothing. That's a big rivalry with another private school. Now they have Robbinsdale Cooper, although it says at Robbinsdale High School, but we're here at Benil, if I'm not mistaken. Then they have Chan has and Chaska early on in September. Now that's Grand Boy for Cooper, now taken away by number 11, Drees. And Drees has it stolen away. Now Robbinsdale Cooper trying to get over midfield for the first time. And will they do it? And they do. Ball loose. And out of bounds off Benilde. So Cooper now will have possession and a throw in on the far sideline in the Benilde zone. See if Cooper can build on that and get down to the net. So far, no shots on goal. Thrown in. Now played by number eight. Jordan Sadler, senior midfielder. Now back in the Cooper zone, that's number 24. That's Amelia Villalobos, a senior for Cooper and also a captain. Ball out of bounds. And they award possession to Cooper. Run for Cooper, number nine, Marin Schurmer. Sherber throws it in for Cooper. Cooper trying to get possession. Now they do it midfield. Nice move there by Villa Lobos. Now she gets it back to the defender, number 21. That's Faith Holmes, just a freshman out there. Now played by number 11 for Cooper. That's Anna Ziska. She's in there for the injured player that took a ball to the noggin. And now it is Benilde. That's number two, Ali Voss, the senior captain. Over to number 18, Gollin Vo. Now Voss, now to the far corner, tried to get it ahead there to Avery Junker, just eluded her and goes out of bounds. And Cooper will take the ball and kick it out. Nice lazy afternoon here. Cooper taking their time, getting the ball in play. So far, no shots on goal here, but it's early in the season. That's number 24, Villa Lobos. Nice kick by her, at least 40 yards in the air. Now taken away by Benilde. They seem to be dominating. All the play has been in the Cooper zone. Now to the near side, that's number 19. Don't have a number for her. Now ball chased there by number 17, Ava Wagner, and unable to catch up to it. And the goaltender for Cooper will come over and pick it up. And number 24, Amelia Villalobos will kick it off again. Boots it to the near sideline, and it's going to go straight out of bounds. Benilde will take over with a throw in. That's number 19 with it. Kaya Ballinger, junior defender, will throw it in right underneath our booth here in our camera angle. Throwing it in, and that was Golinvo. Nice header there, and back out of bounds, and picked up again by Ballinger. She throws it right away again. Played by number 17, Wagner. Wagner now has it in the corner. Maybe a chance here. She tries to get around the corner, but there's Golinvo to quickly block her away from the ball. Out of bounds. Nice defense there by Bella Grandboys, the senior midfielder. She is someone to keep an eye on for Cooper. If they're going to get any type of offense, I would look to number four, Bella Grandboys, for Cooper. And Villa Lobos here will come out and kick it off again. Third time in the last few minutes. Here comes the boot. Nice kick by Villa Lobos. 35 yards in the air. That is a strong leg, folks. Okay, number three, Ali Voss. Voss now trying to get a nice defense. Villa Lobos kicks it back out. Now picked up by Benild and she fumbles it. Almost stolen by Cooper now. Play it back to number six for Benil. That's Avery Richardson. Now kicked by Richardson. Tries to get it, and it goes out of bounds. Possession arrow goes to Cooper. No Jordan shots Bob, on goal nine, so far Aaron here. Schubert. In goal for Benil is Natalie Tennyson, and she hasn't seen any action down there, which I'm sure that's what she likes. 
Now played by three, Allie Voss. Voss now to the near side, number 19, Kaya Ballinger. Ballinger now across midfield. Tries to get it ahead there to number 17. That's Wagner. Wagner's going to catch up with it in the corner. May have a chance here. Oh, she stumbles and loses that opportunity. Didn't quite get on the turf there. A little slip there. And now Villa Lobos will kick off for the fourth time in a row. Deja vu all over again. It's sort of like Groundhog's Day here in the first half. Vanille gets it, goes out of bounds over the end line. Villa Lobos kicks it out. Vanille takes it back. And there is Granboy. She kicks it down there. And not a lot of Cooper players to chase it down. Nice move there. Did you see the fake out job? She went left and cleared around right. Beautiful move there. Can't see her number very. That's number eight. Megan Watts, the senior captain. Nice move there on defense. Okay, now ball in the Benilde zone to the near side. That's number 19, Kaya Ballinger. Ballinger back in the midfield. Nice pass there, played by Ashton Lowenberg. She was a junior. Now taken up by Cooper. And that pass intended for Granboy misses the mark. Now Benilde has it. Nice move there. She just blew by the defender. Now she gets it ahead. And it's a race for the ball. Can they catch up to it? Nope, out of bounds. And another goal kick. And by Villa Lobos, probably number 24. They go to catch the ball there. Kind of like backyard soccer, right? When the ball goes all the way in the neighbor's yard, someone's got to go get it, bring it back. Early season here, Benilde 1 0, Robbinsdale Cooper 0 and 1, and there's Villa Lobos kicking off again. Got a strong leg over to the right side. She'll try it, headed there by Benilde. Possession, that looks like grand boy, it is. She gets it to the teammate, come over to the near side, but intercepted in the middle. That's number 17 with it, Wagner. Wagner right in the middle, chance, shot on goal. It goes into the goal and a goal by Benilde. I think that was number 17, Ava Wagner. Let's go to the replay and now we have a whistle. I think they're gonna count it. Let's see the replay. Here it is. So they intercept the, here's the pass, intercepted. Number 17, Wagner comes right in, goes to the left foot and drills it right by the goaltender. Nice hook on that shot. Goaltender's a little slow there. I thought she might've been able to catch up with it, but that was really a nice shot with the left foot there by Ava Wagner. Gets Benil on the board, one nothing. 38 minutes to go here, first half. Now Cooper with it, taken away quickly by Benilde. Benilde was in the state tournament last year, so they're obviously seeking a state tournament berth again this year. They've had a very strong program over the last several years. And out of bounds. Scoring for the Red Knights, number 17, Ava Wagner. So the official scoring from the PA announcer, Mick. Kind of unassisted, no assist there. Ava Wagner with the left Lauren leg. Cooper. Number 10, Jace Herman. Entering the game for the Red Knights. Ball on the far side. Throw in along the near side. Alpha Crowder taken right away by Benil. They are just dominating time of possession here, folks. I expect this score to become much more inflated. And there, oh, the goaltender almost got by her, which would have meant a corner kick for Benil, but she was able to save it before it went out of bounds, and she'll bring it up. She'll boot it herself this time. Didn't give it to Villa Lobos. Now ball at midfield. Playing it for Cooper is Caden Camp, the junior forward, goes out of bounds. And possession Pitching is awarded to Benilde. Number 23, Grace Hirsch. And the players are social six, distancing on the sideline. Avery Richardson. So that's a change. Throw in now. And Granboy for Cooper intercepts it. Gets it back to the defender, her teammate, number 21, Holmes now. Holmes, nice pass, trying to get something going. And now on defense, that's number 23, Grace Horjeshi. Just a ninth grader out there. 
Getting some good varsity experience. Now the ball comes all the way back to Natalie Tennyson, and this is her first action of the match. Oh, and a big tackle there, and they do blow a whistle, and they're going to call an infraction against Cooper, and a free kick coming up for Benilde, number 19, Kaya Ballinger. Quickly gets it into midfield. That's number two, Lowenberg. Lowenberg now in midfield, trying to get by Granboy. Going on the left side. She's got someone on her left. Tried to get it to her and intercepted, but now she has it right there. Shot on net and another goal for Benilde. They go up 2-0. Strong shot with the right leg. Pass intended for her, and let's go to the replay. Here she beats the defender and quick kick and really strong shot there right under the crossbar. I don't think the goaltender had a chance. Never saw it. Beautiful shot there, 2-0 Benilde. Here it is again. There's the lead pass. It went right up against the defender on her back legs, then misplayed by the other defender, and quickly she comes right in and makes no time getting that shot off. And that was the critical moment that she did not hesitate. She went right for the shot, and it was a beautiful one right below the crossbar. I think it was a goal. Three, number nine, Byron Sherber. Why wasn't it? I guess it's not a goal. Maybe they did call off sides, so... It was still a great play, though, by that shot by Benilde, I will say that. But for some reason, they called it off, and it probably was offsides, which is always difficult to tell because it's not a line. It's where the ball is. This offsides line is constantly moving in soccer. All right, now Benilde trying to get it going, and now Cooper with possession. It's number eight for Cooper. That's Jordan Sadler, junior captain. Sadler still trying to keep possession. She spins away. Great defense there by Ali Voss, but still, what a battle between those two. And she gives a little shove, and that does draw a whistle on Voss. So that'll be a free kick for Cooper. So an opportunity here for them to tie it up. They're going to get a free kick, which means they have to give 10 yards from the kick, and that is Grand Boy. And she's going to have a chance here. See if she goes for the net. Opportunity to tie it up here for Granboy, and she does go right at the net, why not? And Tennyson easily handles it. She runs it off to the right side, and she's gonna maybe get it ahead here to number 23, Grace Horjeshi. Now she does kick it that way. Intercepted by Granboy, race for it in the middle, and Benil comes away with it. Nice move there. And a pass ahead to number 23, that's Horjeshi, and she chases it, the ninth grader. Can she catch it in time? No, out of bounds. Goes to Cooper. Benilde being very aggressive on the offense, wasting no time. When they see a little daylight, they go for it. Just a near miss there. And it's early in the season, folks. That timing is going to get better as games go on. But Benilde looking good here, first half at home. And now Villa Lobos will kick it off. Instead of A.J. Giron, who is in nets for Cooper. And taken away right away by number 19. That's Bylinger. And now number six, that's Avery Richardson. And in the middle there, that's Lowenberg. Lowenberg with it to the far sideline, along the far sideline, just going at will. Where is Cooper on defense? Go cruising all the way in. Finally, someone catches up to her. It was number 14, Tilly Wolf, junior defender, doing a nice job there dribbling that ball. And now that's a whistle. And Villa Lobos will kick it off again. Looks like there's about 25 minutes remaining. Awful hard to see. 25. 25 minutes to go here, first half. It's a double header here at Benilde following this matchup and we are live on YouTube. Most of our broadcasts now are li streaming live on YouTube. Just Google Park TV 16 Sports or put it in the search engine. And you'll come up with all the matches, past and present. And Benil now in the offensive zone once again, working on the side. And a big shot there, but blocked right on her foot. But Benil comes away with the rebound. Now to the near side. That's number 19 playing it, Ballinger. Nice passing there now to Horeshi. Horeshi slips and falls, tries to center it. Ball loose in the middle, little grabbing there by Benil. No whistle though. Now at midfield, number 13 plays it. That's Avery Junker. And now the shot by 
Pitching the game. And we got a whistle. Number six. Ella Camp. Number 18. Savannah Creamy. Some substitutions going on. Takes a little time. Villa Lobos there. Taking lots of time here with the substitutions. Not sure what we're waiting here for, for the referee in the blue shirt in the middle. Still waiting. I don't know if this is COVID related or not, but it's kind of slow going here. I'd like to see these referees move this game along. Got to keep the action going. Finally, Villa Lobos now on the near side. And taken away by number seven, that is Elizabeth Dietzen, the junior. Now played by number two, that is Lowenberg. Lowenberg, now to the near side to Voss, and she just catches up with it. Benilt still with possession. Dietzen, near side, is it gonna go out of bounds? It will in favor of Benilt. And on the near side, that is number 19 to play it, Kaya Ballinger. Ballinger throws it in quickly, try to get it to Richardson. Richardson now, being chased by Caden Camp, and she goes down for Benil. Villa Lobos comes out to try to block it, and Cooper comes away with possession. Nice outlet pass there by Jace Herman. Intercepted again by Benil. They are just dominating here, folks. The ball is in their half all the time. And now we're gonna have a free kick and a big opportunity here for Benil to go up two nothing. They lead one nothing here. They had a 2-0 lead, but it was nullified, I think, by an offside call. But here's the free kick from the 26-yard line. They go right at the goal and just sails wide right of the goaltender, J.J. Giron, the senior. And she'll play it over there. Into the game for the Hawks, number three, Kira Snapcomb. Another substitution for Cooper as we wait for that. Lots of substitutions here. Early on, probably not a bad idea. Keep them hydrated. Get your players some experience here early on. And another kickoff here for Villa Lobos. And the Robbinsdale Cooper Hawks. And she keeps it low on the ground this time, but kicked by number seven, Dietzen. Now intercepted by Cooper, ball in the middle, and that is Voss. Allie Voss gets it taken away by number eight for Cooper. That is Sadler. Sadler now to midfield to Granboy. Now a chance for Granboy. She has three players ahead, and they're going to chase it. And the goaltender, Tennyson, tries to kick it, but it looks like it might go out of bounds. They're going to chase for it. little pushing and shoving. Nice job there by number 19, Ballinger, to keep that ball in bounds and take possession away. Now Ballinger on the near side. Along the sideline, is it going to stay in? It does. Nice job by Voss keeping it in. Now they decide to call it out of bounds. Delayed call here by the sideline official, I thought. And Cooper will take possession. On the near side, that's number 21. Faith Holmes will throw it in. Yeah. Holmes now gets it in there, trying to get it to Graham Boyce. Nice job of her to control it. Look at her. But she gets double teamed, and Voss, and she gets shoved. Big elbow and a hip from Graham Boyce sends Voss to the ground. If you don't think it gets rough out there, folks, it absolutely does. Grand Boy is here to play some soccer. Good for her. Now on the near side, slow getting the ball over to the sideline. Cooper will kick it in. Oh, no, we'll go to Benild. And that's number 19 for the Red Knights, Kaya Ballinger. She'll kick it back to number 13. That is Avery Junker. Junker now to the far side, that's Richardson. Richardson to the midfield to Voss. No, that's Lowenberg, excuse me. And that pass a little off the mark intended for number 14, Tilly Wolf. And there's some nice defense, another shoving an elbow there between number 18. I don't have a number of name for her on the program, so I apologize for that. Not exactly accurate, the information I have, but that was a nice play by 18. And there's some pushing and shoving going on out there, so keep an eye on that. Cooper is here to play as well, but they are getting dominated, that is for sure. So we're now below 20 and minutes here to go, first half. Number 16, Kaya Gilliand. Number 21. All out of bounds, and now Benil will Lauren take control. Gilles and number nine. 
Not a lot of sports this Very fall, no football. I expect we're going to be bringing a lot of soccer games in the fall here since it might be the only sport that's going that we're going to be broadcasting going on Park TV 16 Sports. 14, Kelly Wolf. Nice breezy day here, gorgeous, 75 degrees. Late summer, early fall, good day to be out watching girls soccer. Now Benil in the zone on the far sidelines now. Nice centering pass wide open for Benilde as they work the ball to the near side to the freshman. Nice pass there, tended for number nine. That's Mary Zaverell. And out of bounds goes to Benilde. So they're going to have a chance deep in Cooper's zone. Throw in coming from number nine. That's Zaverell. Zaverell now into the corner, intended for Horeshi. And it goes out of bounds, and A.J. Juron will hand it off to Villa Lobos, and she will kick it off again. Time still running. Looks like 18 minutes to so to go here. And Villa Lobos will kick it off. Headed there by number nine, Zaverell. We know her from her hockey career. Very strong hockey player there for Benilde. Soccer and hockey, kind of similar sports, except without the skates. So you see a lot of two or three sport athletes. So she was soccer and hockey. Okay, now that's number 21 with it. Lauren Hillens to midfield. That is Lowenberg. And the give back to Lowenberg came from Dietzen. Now Lowenberg to the far corner. She'll work her magic over there, coming in. Nice dribbling there. Cooper trying to take it away and they do successfully. Nice job there on defense for number eight is Jordan Sadler for Cooper. Takes away that scoring threat by Benilde. Now at midfield, chasing it is number six. That's Ella Camp. And ball still in bounds, taken away by Benilde. Centering pass there, nicely done. They'll, they'll move that ball around out of the near side. That's Hareshi. And Hareshi, just a freshman out there. Nice quick pass, but A.J. Geron there to make the save. She was concentrating on the ball. Nice positioning by the goaltender there. Here's the replay by Hareshi. Quick shot with pace, but Geron there to make the save this time. Now Benil, that is Hareshi again chasing it, and it's kicked out of bounds by the defender, number 21, Faith Holmes, also just a freshman for Cooper. Benching the game for the Red Knights. Takes the pressure 17, off for a minute. Ava Wagner. Now Ava Wagner checks in for Benil, and she number will 15, come in for number Amy 23, Benil. Hareshi. And Hareshi, she's been running up and down this right sideline, and she probably deserves a breather there. Although you got to run all the way across the field to get your breather. I find that interesting. But uh, all right, now the throw in for Benilde. Va uh, it's Lowenberg. Now to the near side, number 21, Lauren Hillens. And that's number 17, Ava Wagner. And the ball goes, is it going to be Benilde ball? I think so. Is that going to be our first corner kick? Couldn't quite see who that went off of. And I think we're going to have a corner kick because I see a Benil player come into the right corner. Corner kick, Red Knights. Yeah, it is going to be the first Number corner 16, kick. Kia Gillian. Number 16, that is Kaya Gillian, just a freshman. We'll do it. Let's see how they play it. Benil, they're way out in front of the net, but they're going to crash the net as that ball comes in. And nice shot there, hard and into the middle of that scrum. Trying to get possession. Two Cooper players go down as number 17 picks up the ball. Ava Wagner, the junior. Centering pass, and it goes off of Cooper. We're going to have another corner kick for Benilde, and that's going to be number 16, Gillian, to do the honors. And that last corner kick, she had some pace on that ball. Number 16. Looks like Benilde's going to set up Gillian. the same way. They're about 10 yards off that goal line, but here they're going to crash it, and she comes right in there. She puts it right in the middle, trying to head it, gets through everybody. Now chased by number six. That is Avery Richardson. She turns, fires it, and it goes out of bounds, and Cooper has fended Cooper. off two corner kick opportunities for Benilde, and they keep Savannah the score Green. at one nothing here. So Cooper, even though they're being dominated, they're only down one nothing on the scoreboard. And you've got to be a little frustrated if you're a Benilde fan with all these scoring opportunities. You'd think the score should be a little bit more of an advantage for them. And that kind of keeps teams like Cooper, who are clearly inferior in the match, and that can come back to bite you because they might start to get some confidence in the second half just down one nothing they get a goal 
anything can happen. But I don't think that's going to happen because I think Benilde is dominating. But if Benilde, they'd like to get another cushion goal here before halftime, especially how they've been dominating possession of the ball, shots on goal. I don't think Cooper has one shot on goal. So that would be my goal if I was the Cooper coach. Let's just see if we can get a shot on goal here, try to get some sort of offense going here. All right, now Villalobos from the 40-yard line. An opportunity here. But Cooper really unable to maintain any sustained possession of the ball in the Benilde zone. That's what they've got to be doing here. Now Villalobos, big kick into the middle. Headed there by Benilde and taken away by Benilde. They're just clearly the more talented team here. Ball along the near sideline and nice job there by number 17, Ava Wagner. What an effort by her to keep control and keep it in bounds and elude the defender all at once. And now the ball just misses number six, Avery Richardson, just gets through there. That would have been an excellent scoring opportunity as Jerron, the goaltender for Cooper, kicks out to the right side and right away out of bounds. They turn the ball right back over to Benil the and the they 14, quickly throw it in. They've got to be feeling like they've got to go for the jugular here and get a goal here. Because Cooper looks a little slow. They're clearly less talented. They're not as tall. And uh, they just don't have the firepower that Benilde has. Nevertheless, it's still one nothing. Now on the far side, that is Richardson. And Jerron, the goaltender for Cooper, scoops that up. I'm Robert Christensen, Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live. Glad you're here with us early on in the season of 2020. One of the few sports the Minnesota State High School League is allowing to go on statewide. Boys and girls soccer, football's off till spring, volleyball's off till spring. Now the nice pass now on the far side, near side, Mary Zaverol, plenty of room, being chased by number seven, that's Caden Camp, and that shot goes right at Jaron. She was in perfect position, right at eye level, handles it cleanly, and she kicks it off. Intended for Grand Boy there, she tries to head it. Now chasing it for Benilde, that's number 13, Avery Junker. In the middle, and I'm really impressed with the Cooper player, number eight, she really puts her head in there. She's been taking hits from Benilde. She is not afraid. There she is with it right there, actually. Camp, nice move there. And gets it to Granboy. Nice move by her. She is fun to watch, folks. I have to say, watch her talent. Now number three with it. That is Snapco. Now Cooper looking a little better. And just as I say that, she misfires with the left foot there. Number nine, Sherber. And a turnover to Benilde. So Cooper showing a little bit of improvement there. They just need to sustain those passes and keep the consistency up, and they might have a chance. And here comes Granboy. Look out now. She can move. Let's see what she can do with this ball here in the open space. She tries to split the defenders, but quickly over there, double teaming her was number 13, Avery Junker, along with number eight, Megan Watts, the senior. Haven't called her name, but nice defense helping each other out, which is what you do. It's a team game. All right, now that's number seven with it. Elizabeth Dietzen, and we got a whistle away from the action, and it looks like Cooper's going to take possession, some sort of infraction against Benilde. Clock continues to run, 11 minutes remaining, I believe. There's a glare off the scoreboard from my angle, so it's hard for me to see the time, so I apologize for that. And now a free kick by Villalobos, gets it over midfield, tried to get it to Graham Boy, she touches it, tried to touch pass it over to number 18. Now taken away by 13, which is Avery Junker. Now back to midfield. Look how quickly Benilde can turn that ball around. That is experience coaching, wasting no time. Now on the far side, number 16, that is Gillian to Richardson. Tries to give it back to Gillian on the give and go. There's a Cooper defender right there. She thwarts that effort. Now in the midfield, trying to get it to the near side or midfield, I should say, and that's Lauren Hillens. Hillens with it. Looking to the, work the right side, she's got two players. That's number 17, Wagner. Wagner with it, gets it to the far side or the near side. That's number nine, Zaverell. Now Gillian. Wagner, I should say. Now to number 21, that's Hillens. Nine with it, Zaverell. Gets by the ninth grade defender, now picked up by Wagner. Methodically moving that ball around and that's a trip, no whistle. Finally the whistle comes. I don't know what the delay was there. But now a free kick for Benilde inside the 20, folks. 
Let's see if they can get another goal here before half, and that's gonna be number six, Avery Richardson. And Benil, they line up everyone right along that 10 yard line there. And it looks like Cooper's gonna build a little bit of a wall here. They've gotta be 10 yards off. Okay, so they've got a five person wall. Now number six with the left foot, Richardson. She goes right for the net, going for that corner and just misses. I don't know if uh, AJ Geron hears that replay. Let's see how quick she tried to Did put it right in that. The Hawks, Just 11, misses. Just trying to put it in a place where the, the goaltender Knights. can't even get it. Number 18. Nice attempt Annie there Gordon. by Avery Richardson. Number five, Kristen Doherty. The clock continues to run. Number Villa Lobos 22, now another Abby kickoff. Garvin. And number 19. Eight minutes, just under Ian nine minutes Bellinger. to go here. First half, been built up one nothing. Early on, no scoring since then, but play has picked up here. A little slow, and there's a shot off the defender, Villa Lobos. Ball loose in the middle, centering pass, no one home for Benil. Still keeping the pressure on, though, is Richardson. Ball loose, Richardson gets it back out. Nice job by her to get it out of that melee. Now taken away by Camp. Jordan Sadler, I should say, that's who that is. Beautiful defense by her. That was a great scoring opportunity that she was able to interrupt, but now Benil quickly back on offense to the near side. That is Avery Junker. No, number 17, excuse me, that is Wagner. Richardson almost taken away by number seven, Caden Camp. Now 19 with it with open space. That is Ballinger. Centering pass into the middle. A couple Benil players sails right over their heads. Ball stays in bounds and recovered nicely there. Benil keeping the pressure on now on the far side. That's number five now with it. Kristen Doherty, sophomore, goes off the official ball in play though when it goes off an official. And now intercepted nicely by number three. That's Kira Snapko, but Benil still maintains possession. Ball loose, chasing it is 21, Lauren Hillens, and kicked away nicely there on defense. Faith Holmes for Cooper, alleviates the pressure at least for a second. Now number 22 on the far side, that's Abby Garwin. And nice move there into the corner. That's number six, Richardson. Richardson working against two, three, and it goes off, and I think that's gonna be a corner kick for Benil, this time on the far corner. So another scoring opportunity as they retrieve the ball. Red Knights. So we are winding six, down here in the Avery first Richardson. half. And now a corner kick by number six. She's been handling almost all the corner kick duties. And she's a left footed kicker. That's probably why if she was kicking right, that net would be, that flag would be in her way. And ball comes sailing in there and goes out of bounds. The game the there's Hawks. a little bit of a win coming from the north, Number which is nine, really coming right Aaron over Sherbert. the goaltender of Benil. May have had some sort of impact on that ball. It's hard to say. Let's see what the winds are here. Oh, just 10 miles. No, let's see here. 12 miles out of the northwest. So a little bit of a breeze out there might affect the ball when it's lofted in the air. But meanwhile, we're gonna watch Villa Bobos kick off another one as we're under seven minutes to go here. First half, we are on campus here at Benilde St. Margaret's. Beautiful place here. Marshes in the background, woods all around. And the ball out of bounds. 73 and Throwing sunny in nice St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Ball thrown in. And that is Sadler, tried to get it away. She's played very good defense for Cooper. Now with Benilde. Pass to the near side, that is Zavril. Zavril now decides not to pass it. Look at the footwork by her. Now to the near side, that's number 19, Ballinger. And nice footwork by close passing and quick shot by Zavril and there was almost someone there. Great opportunity for Benil to go up to nothing. Zavril put it right where it needed to be, unfortunately, and one of her teammates just couldn't quite get there fast enough. Great opportunity created by Zavril. Now another kickoff for Villa Lobos. So we're below six minutes first half. Not a lot to cheer for if you're a Cooper fan or a parent. Now ball played to midfield and Granboy, nice job using her body to block off number 22, Garvin. Just like in a basketball, when you box someone out, that's exactly what she did. Now here comes Sadler on the offensive end. 
Centering pass and a first best opportunity for Cooper in the middle there and still a chance, ball loose. Who's gonna come away with it? That's 22, Garvin goes out of bounds and Cooper will maintain possession. This was their Drawing deepest off. penetration nine, into the vanilla zone and an Ending excellent scoring opportunity by number, number 18. And the Ziska. And a throw in for Sunshine Cooper on the 17, far side, right around Jamie the 21, 22 yard line where the blocking dummies are in the back of her. And she's gonna throw it in here. Cooper's gotta be thinking if they can get a goal before half, that would really boost their spirits to go in tight against a very powerful Benil team. It goes back out of bounds. Hawks, and number, number nine, nine, that is Marin Sherber. She'll throw it in at around the 15 yard line. There's Sadler trying to come away with a quick shot and that's their first shot on goal. Nice job by Sadler. So that's, got, that's improvement. If I'm a coach, I'm like, all right, we got a shot on goal. Let's get one now. Ball back to midfield. Cooper trying to keep the pressure on here. And Benilt comes away with it right at the 50 yard line. And that is number six, Richardson. Quick nifty pass close in. Now to the near side, that's Zavril. Look out for her folks. Look at that move, she creates daylight for herself. Nice pass there to Richardson, turns and shoots and gets, oh, A.J. Duran just got a piece of it, barely. Otherwise, I was about to say goal, but she just got a hand on it. Let's go to the replay. Look at that quick pass, look at this quick shot. The balance that she has to, to turn around and do that, it's really all about balance. Nice save there though by A.J. Duran, should not, be underestimated there and how good of a save Number that six, was. Avery she dove Richardson. to her left, just got a hand on it, but that's gonna result in a corner kick taken by number 16, Gillian. Hooking in the middle and nicely done there by number seven, Caden Camp blocking it. Camp with it. And can she keep it in bounds? Nice job by Camp there with three Benil players all over her. Tries to get to the space and there's Granboy. Beautiful job there anticipating where the opening was and really beautiful recognition by Granboy to see that. That was, that was top notch right there, folks. Juron now with it. Just that alone was beautiful to watch. It isn't always about the goal when you can be entertained by soccer. All right, now Juron in the midfield. Tried to get it to Sadler. No, that's number 17, Katie Velez, a sophomore for Cooper. Now Benilde with it. Pass into the middle, that's number 21, Lauren Hillens. Now Zavro on the near side, can she save it? Just couldn't quite catch up with it. Boy, Zavro plays with so much intensity. You can see it on her face, you can see it in the way she plays. Really fun to watch this. Okay, now on the near side, number 21, Faith Holmes. She'll throw it in. Clock continues to run. I think we're below two minutes, if I can read that right. 20, one and a half minutes to go here, first half. Throw in for Cooper. Can either team get on the board here right at the end of the first half? It can be such a momentum shifter when you go into the break for either team here. The danger for Benilde is if they give up a goal, they give a team too much confidence here. Now the pass, open space, picked up by Benilde. Now the pass to the corner, chasing it One there is number remaining. five, Kristen Doherty. One, One minute. minute remaining, first half. Centering pass, Villa Lobos there to intercept it. And she's a solid player there for Cooper as well. I'd almost like to see her on the offensive side because of how tall she appears and how strong her leg is. But they also need her back on defense as well. Throw so clock Knights. continues to kick, or number kick, 22. excuse me. Abby then Garvin. Cooper, now there's Richardson. She'll bring it around to the near side, centering pass to Hillens. Hillens back on the give and go. That is number five, Doherty. Now Richardson, and they go down there and attempted to tackle the ball, and they're going to give the ball to Cooper. That's a little surprising to me from what I saw. Not sure what the violation. I think they were both just going for the ball. Let them play on, I say. Nine seconds remaining, eight seconds, seven. This will probably do it for the first half. Villa Lobos trying to kick it off. So we listen for the horn here. And there it is at the end of half number one from Benilde St. Margaret's. It's one nothing Red Knights. Come on back for half number two.
Millions plan for retirement online. Estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, and manage your benefits all from the comfort of your home. And give yourself the freedom to do what you want offline. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere, allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. Welcome back to Park TV 16 Sports on location. We are bringing you girls varsity soccer from Benilde St. Margaret's featuring Robbinsdale Cooper and Benilde St. Margaret's. We're about to begin half number two. After a slow start, Benilde got on the board and only a one nothing lead here for them. They are in their home red uniforms, this time going from right to left. This time they're gonna be going into the win and it just occurred to me that win could have had an impact out there just on whether you have the wind at your back or not, you wouldn't think it would make that much difference when it comes to soccer, but it can in terms of just how it makes you feel. Now Cooper with the wind behind their back, let's see if this increases their ability to play offense. They only had one shot on net first half, and now Cooper here early in the second half with control of the ball. That's Grand Boy, keep an eye on her. And taken away nicely by number seven, that is Elizabeth Dietzen. Now to the near side, number 11, Avery Junker. Junker now. We'll play it along the sideline, no one there but Cooper on defense. And played, attempted there by number 10 as she missed hit it. it goes out of bounds and another unforced turnover for Cooper. Gives Benil the chance here on the near side. Throw in, trying to get it into number 18. That's Gollin Vo. And taken away by Richard Dietzen. Dietzen now, try to get it to Velen Vo. Taken away by Grand Boy. She kicks it out of bounds. And that'll be a throw in for Benilde. Different feel here in the pandemic. No concessions, social distancing by the players, although not while they're playing. And there's a nice pass. Zavril could not get her leg on it as she slipped. But what a great pass. That thing came in with a lot of pace. And let's look at the replay here. Number 11, Avery Junker puts it right on the mark. Wide open was Zavril and just couldn't get her. All she had to do was get her foot on it, and that was a goal. That's right, I remember that, how are ya? All right, now play back underway. That is, now to the near side, that's number two, Al, no, that is Lowenberg now, number five for Cooper, that's Emma Dyson, taken away by Sydney Drees. Right in close, centering pass. Gollin Vo couldn't get her foot on it. Now Voss with a shot in. AJ Duran kicks it out. Ball still alive, no whistle. Benil will try to keep the pressure on. That is number two, Lowenberg. Lowenberg now centering pass. Blocked away, chasing it and coming up with it for Benil. Is number 19, Ballinger. Tried to get it to Drees. Drees gets it in the middle and a shot and a goal by number seven. Elizabeth Dietzen went off the Cooper defender, but it counts just the same. And now Benil goes up 2 nothing here in the early stages of half number two. And they get that little breather with a 2 nothing lead. Nice effort there by Benil overall, keeping the pressure on Cooper. And we'll go back to the center. And that is number 15, down 2 nothing. Amy Maya the sophomore, and now Grand Boy, number four. And Cooper needs to get a goal here. They do not want to go down three nothing to this powerful Benil team. And now number seven, that is Dietzen. And Grand Boy, nice turnaround move behind the leg pass to herself and drops it off to her teammate. Now ahead to, can't see, she's got a long ponytail, hard to see her number. And the ball goes out of bounds for Benil. And the throw in quickly down goes the Benil player. And that is Villa Lopez. 
The assist on the goal goes to number 11, Sidney Dries. So Deason from Dries on that last scoring play makes it 2 0 Benil. They come into this match 1 0 in the conference. They're playing only conference matches, no non conference matches, so a truncated season. So these Metro West matchups, they're all very important since they're conference games. They'll try to make the sections in October and the state tournament in late October. And they've been playing those at US Bank. We were there last year for a quarterfinal matchup against Breck. No, it was Blake School. Big rivalry here between Benilde and Blake. Now the ball into the middle. That is Lowenberg, Ashton. Centering pass to Dietzen, who just had a goal before moments early, going for another one, and her kick goes wide right, and that goes out of bounds. Did it go off a Cooper player? Nope, it looks like Cooper will retain possession. Early on here, half number two. Gorgeous Saturday afternoon, Park TV 16 Sports. I'm Robert Christensen, glad you're with us here in the 2020 season. Lots of soccer coming up this fall since there aren't too many other sports to broadcast. It'll be interesting to see if they do get a football season at all anytime during the academic year of 2021. Now Benilde, played there by Sydney Dries. And they are on the offense centering pass, intercepted by Cooper. They kick it out of there, but kept in by Lowenberg with the pressure on. Now Dietz on the left side, and that's Dries. She lines up the shot and kicks it the goal. She took her time collected herself, had plenty of time, saw the opening and went right towards that right post. And a nice play there by Dries, puts Benilde up three nothing. There's Dietzen as she returns the favor as Dries assists on the last goal. Just a smart play. Didn't try to make it more sophisticated than it needed to be. Just saw the opening, tapped it in there from about eight yards on the left side corner and beats AJ Giron. Benilde up three nothing, 34 minutes to go here second half. Firmly in control is Benilde. Now the kickoff for Robbinsdale. Trying to get some offense going. Sadler has the chance to do that. She's very skilled. Watch her footwork out there. She dribbles that ball around. Gets it back to the freshman number 21. Sorry That's Faith right. Holmes. Now Sadler looking number for 11, something Sydney to do Prince. here on offense. Try lead pass, but there is number eight for Benilde. That is Megan Beetson. Watts. Watts now in the corner. Turning around and gets it to number 17. I believe that is Wagner and she'll get it to the goaltender, Natalie Tennyson, the junior. Now to the far side. And miss Q there goes out of bounds and there's a rare turnover in their own zone. And now a chance for Cooper here, folks, as they're in the 25 yard line range. See if they can take advantage here with the throw in. Sherber. Gets it in there, oh, intercepted by Benilde. Now Cooper tries to retain possession and Benilde comes away with it and the centering pass nicely done. And now on the near side, there's Sydney Dries. She has a goal and an assist in the last five minutes. Dries now, number 11, watch her work. Now that nice pass in the middle, tried to hook it right into Zavril. Zavril still fighting for it. Now comes Lowenberg, Lowenberg now, midfield to the near side, there's Dries chasing it. She loves this corner over here, she dominates it. Dries now. Nice move on the freshman, left foot centering pass, tried to get it to Dietzen, but intercepted by Cooper's number 10. That is Herman. Dries now in the corner. And Lowenberg able to get it, but Cooper clears the ball to midfield, but back to play it is for Benilde is number eight. That is Megan Watts, the captain. Watts now to the far side at midfield. Played ahead there by number 19, Ballinger. Now to the far side. Here comes Zavro on the right side, working against Villalobos, and that's a big matchup there. Villalobos is a great defender for Cooper. There's Zavro still with possession. Now to number 18, Gollin Vo. Her shot gets deflected and out of bounds, and that will be Pitch in the game for the Hawks. Cooper number Ball. 13, Olivia Adams. Some substitutions now for Cooper coming in. Villalobos sets up to kick it out of her zone. Cooper, not very much offense today. Just one shot on goal here. Came late in half number one. Now Zavril. 
flips it off to midfield. Try to get it to her teammate. It's number 17 with the ponytail, Katie Velez, the sophomore Throwing forward. Number 19. Now the throw in. Kira Bollinger. Benil now, Dietzen to Lowenberg. She has some space, look out here. Leading pass, try to get it ahead to Dietzen without her being off sides. Now back to number 14, Tilly Wolf. Now Voss, Voss with it. Over to the far side. Played by number 19, Ballinger. And now that is Zavril with space. Look out, pass, centering pass, gets through to Voss. Voss trying to get a foot on it. Now over to Dries, and Dries lines it up, takes another shot and a goal. Two in a row for Sydney Drees. She's got an assist and two goals for number 11. And look at the smile on her face. Voss started it right there and saw Drees. Drees just took her time and hooked it right past Villa Lobos and AJ Geron for her second goal in a row. Added to the assist and she is having an afternoon here in St. Louis Park. Puts Benilda four nothing. And now Cooper at midfield on the kickoff. And we got a quick whistle and a, an equipment issue there for Dries as she ties her shoe after scoring two goals. Gotta be a great feeling, two goals and an assist in a this Metro West soccer matchup here. Camp. Now we have some substitutions coming in. Red That's Ella Camp, number, 11, number six. Dries. The system goal goes to number three, Ross. So the official scoring play from Mick, the PA announcer, is Dries from Voss. And Voss really did set that up. She was able to corral that ball in traffic, had the wherewithal from her peripheral vision to see Dries. And then Dries, cool, calm, collected, settled the ball down and just drilled it right to the right of A.J. Duran. Four, nothing, Benilb. Now ball in play by Cooper. And the ball goes out of bounds and it will favor the Red Knights. That's number 19 to play it, Kaya Ballinger. Nope, they do give it to Cooper and that is Granboy. Bella Granboy, senior. She's a very talented Jordan player. Lawrence, number four. Just Bella hasn't Granboy. been able to free herself up for any good scoring opportunities with Benil playing very well at home here in match number two of the season. Now here comes Cooper's number 18. We don't have a name for her. And now here comes Benilde, four wide at midfield. Look out, Voss, beautiful defense coming up for Cooper and just snapping it and getting right back in there to take it away. Probably a little bit of frustration on the part of Voss because she had four wide of her and she got picked off by number 24, Villa Lobos, Amelia. She's a talented player too. I would say Villa Lobos and Granboy and Sadler are their three most dangerous players if you're a Benilde fan. And Villa Lobos came and just thwarted what I thought was gonna be an excellent scoring opportunity. Now Villa Lobos to do a kickoff, free kick at midfield, just inside the Benilde zone of the field. And we're below, I don't know, 30 minutes to go here, second half, now chasing it is Granboy. And it's gonna be Benilde ball on the near sideline. That's number 14. Tilly Pitching Wolf. The game for the Red Knights. Number six, Avery Richardson. Number 21, Lauren Hillens. And at number 23, Grace Forsh. Some substitutions coming in for Benilde. Up four nothing here, second half. Nice play there by Lohenberg, keeping that pass in. And now to midfield to Dietzen. And she kicks it ahead. Will she connect? No, coming up is number 21, Holmes, to intercept the ball. But Benilde also gets it right back. Lauren Hillens. Now number 19, that is Ballinger. And she kicks it back to Tennyson. And she'll start it off on the left side. Now she gives it to number eight, Megan Watts. Watts over to number 13, I believe. Is that 17? Wagner and ball goes out of bounds and number 11, Hawks, number 11 Anna Ziska will retrieve the ball in the far corner it seems to me we might usually have some more student managers to retrieve those balls but right now I think with COVID the players are going to go get it it's going to slow it down just a little bit in terms of the pace of play overall 
Now Cooper with it. Sadler at the 30. Tried to dribbling around Lowenberg. Gets it to the near side. Cooper still maintaining possession. Tenacious defense there by number 19, Ballinger. And it goes out of bounds. And great defense by Ballinger there to force that ball loose and out of bounds. And another turnover against Cooper. Throwing Red Knights, number 19, Kira Bellinger, Bollinger. Now Benild. Dietzen in the middle. Tried to get it over to Dries. Dries fighting for it. Kept away by Cooper. Now centering pass. Intercepted by Benild. Now to Lowenberg. Lowenberg now gets it ahead to Dries. And she is dangerous in open space in that corner, folks. Let's see what she can do here. She's got two goals in a row. Going for the hat trick. And she moves right by the defender. Sets it up looking. And there gets it to number six, Richardson. She tries to shoot in a goal by Richardson. Makes it 5 nothing. Benilde. And Dries gets another assist. There she is, number six, Avery Richardson. There's the pass. Kind of muffs that shot, then recovers, and then Point drills the it night. with the left foot. Number Look six, at the pace Avery on that Richardson. ball, folks. Avery Richardson puts Benilde up 5 nothing. That goal coming with 27 minutes to go here, second half. And now if you're with Cooper, can they just get another shot on goal? But now Benilde, as they push it into the Cooper zone once again, right after that goal, there's Dries, two goals, two assists on the afternoon. Centering pass to number 21, that's Lauren Hillens. Hillens now to number 23, Horshey. Eight and centering pass, drop pass, kicked by Benilde. Villalobos kicks it back out. And now coming up to play it is number 13, Avery Junker. And Sadler tries to get a foot on it. Now intercepted and now Sadler. Sadler, nice move there on Lowenberg. Good footwork, good dribbling by Sadler. She's getting pushed back and forth. And boy, Lowenberg just comes and physically just takes her off the ball. And Benilde is clearly the stronger team here physically able to just kind of muscle their way around. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice battle there. Dries quickly gets it in without wasting any time, trying to take advantage. Now a whistle as the ball was about to be played by Tilly Wolf, and that is a turnover against Benilde. 26 minutes to go. Clock running here. 5 nothing. Benilde lead. Firmly in control. They have yet to give up a goal all season, although this is only the second match in the fourth half after a 1 0 win over Blake, which that is the big rivalry, and that bodes well for Benilde. I think they have a state tournament type team here. They played in this, and Giron does save that as Dries kicks it in there. Or was that Dietzen? Benilde looked very strong. I know they suffered a tough defeat against Blake in the quarterfinals last year. We were at US Bank, and just how it feels watching Benilde, they are looking very powerful this year. Now number 19, Ballinger, Bollinger with the ball. Now to midfield, that's Dietzen. Number seven, Sadler tries to get, away, get it away from her, but Dietzen will have none of that. She brings it in. Gets by the freshman, coming right in, all the way, unaccosted, basically. Still with the balls, Dietzen tries to come right in. Villa Lobos tries to thwart her and does push her back. Now that's Horishi. Not sure I'm pronouncing that right. I'll have to get that down. She's a new player this year. Now the kick by A.J. Giron to midfield, played by number seven, Caden Camp, and a whistle. I think she played it with her arm. Yes, she did. That's the indication. And now quickly, Benilde back on offense. Lowenberg uh, has a hard time handling it and taken away nicely there by Caden Camp. Now Camp with a little bit of a chance here for Cooper. They don't have the numbers, three on five. Camp now is now a six on five and she just gives it right back to Lowenberg. Didn't able to do much with that opportunity. Now Dietzen leads it ahead to Horishi. Horishi now has it on the far side, just a freshman out there. Tries to put the crossover move and unable to catch up with it, and that turns the ball over to Cooper. Five nothing here on the campus of Benilde. The Gorgeous Knights, afternoon. 16, Glad you're with us at Park TV 16 Kia, Sports. Kia. We're streaming live on YouTube. Number Almost all our matches and all the sports going Lucy forward, Hansen. so you can check out the replays, watch nine, it live going Mary forward. Zemmerall. Don't have to come to the match. 
more important that you check us out on Park TV 16 Sports in this COVID world and social distancing Hansen's and all the, the nine yards. yards. Okay, the now Villalobos. Clock continues to run. Gets it to midfield and played there by Avery Junker. Now that's number nine, Mary Zaverell. Played to midfield, that's Dietzen. Plenty of space in the middle. Let's see what she can do. Gets right by Villa Lobos. Tries to get it ahead there to number 16, Gillian, and unable to get it before AJ Geron picks it up the goaltender for Robbinsdale. Now that is number six, trying to play it, Ella Camp. There are two camp names on the Robbinsdale. There's Ella Camp, number six, and Caden Camp, number seven. Sophomore and junior, respectively. And now the ball, whistle, and Cooper will gain possession. Villa Lobos now. Not a lot of urgency on the Cooper team, even though they're down 5 nothing. They are overmatched here, I believe, against Benil. Now the ball in the middle attempted there to get to number 15, Ema Maya. And it's taken away by Benil's number 13, Avery Junker. She kicks it to the near sideline. Now number 16, Gillian. Gillian gets it to Dietzen. Dietzen trying to stay possession, uses her body to block the defender and keep possession. But now Granboy, number four for Cooper, intercepts. Dietzen now takes it right off the foot. Right in the middle, nice pass there, and a quick shot, and A.J. Geron thwarts number six's shot, Avery Richardson, from point-blank range. As we watch Dietzen, those little passes from five, six yards are very difficult, and A.J. Geron concentrating very well there on making that save. Nice defense, nice goaltending by Geron for Cooper. Now again, number 13, Junker, and still with the ball, and gets it back. And Megan Watts kicks it ahead to number 16. That is Gillian. Gillian now, and nice defense there by Cooper. Number 13, it, Olivia the Adams, the, the senior Knights, midfielder, able five, to kick it out of bounds. Into the game for the Hawks. Now some number substitutions. Nine, There's Mary number five Schiller. checking in for Benilde, Kristen Doherty. Get a good look at her. Now number 14, Tilly Wolf, headed away by Cooper's number 10, that is Herman. Now Sadler, number eight. She has very quick feet, gets by. Now played by number eight for Benil, that's Megan Watts. Three co-captains, or four, let's see. Allie Voss is a captain, Megan Watts, and Annie Gollenvo, all seniors, three captains. For Scott Helling Christie's Benilde St. Margaret's team, and they look very strong here early on as we're below 30 minutes here, second half. That is number 10, Jace Herman. She'll play it for Cooper. They're down five, nothing here. Midway through half number two. And Bill Lobos will hand it off to number 10. That is Jace Herman. And she'll take her time kicking it off. Cooper just trying to get on the board here. Vanilla has not given up a goal all year. And now Dietzen, and they go down hard. Number seven was Caden Camp, and number seven, Dietzen. Play on, though, the referee says. No whistles, no stoppages, and here comes Benilde right there from a 45-degree angle, and the ball just eludes the goal there. A.J. Geron, I think, just got her hand on it. In the corner now, number 16, Kaya Jillian, and the ball goes out of bounds. Here's that replay coming right in, crossing pattern. A.J. Geron just gets enough on it or that was gonna be a goal for sure. Amazing, now a corner kick. 
in the corner is going to be number Appreciate six. Avery Richardson, the left-footed kicker, will kick it in there, and it comes out to the far side this time. And played there by number nine, Mary Zaverell. Zaverell now on the far side. Centering pass, blocked by Villa Lobos for Cooper. Now Sadler has it for Cooper. She clears the ball out to alleviate the pressure. Played there by number 13, Avery Junker. Junker comes up, kicks it out of bounds, off the Cooper player, so Benil will retain possession. So we're now just below 18 minutes to go here, second half. Benil firmly in control, 5-0. Now played by number 23, that is Horeshi. And Richardson, number six, still with the ball and that left-footed kick going for it right there, right at A.J. Geron. Her son may have been in her eyes there. They might be fighting it, although I do believe it might be still too high in the sky, but she looked like she was fighting the sun a little bit. Nice job there by A.J. Geron. Keeping the score five nothing, but Benil, they're looking for more here, up five nothing. Now wide open, played by number 16, Kaya Jillian, and now number five with it, Doherty. Doherty to the far side, coming up to play. That's Zavarol, number nine. Cuts in the middle, blows right by the defender. Now the quick shot blocked by 21. That is Faith Holmes. And it's gonna be Benil Ball. I don't know if it's gonna be a corner kick or not. Yes, it is gonna be a corner kick. And number 16, Kaya Jillian will do the honors on the far side corner there. So another scoring opportunity coming up from Benild. Under 17 number minutes 16, to go in the match. Kilyard. And Gillian. Nice kick, high lofting ball, hooked, played by number 21. She got her foot on it, Lauren Hillens. Not enough mustard, I would say. And now here comes Granboy for Cooper. Watch her operate. Really quick moves out there. Very entertaining. Now taken away by Benil, number 21, Hillens. Hillens now lead pass, tried to get it ahead to Richardson and just eluded her. Could have been offsides there as well had they connected. Meanwhile, A.J. Geron, the goaltender, will boot it down in the midfield. Play continues on, under 16 minutes to go. Now Granboy at midfield. Nice quick move there. Trying to find someone to get it to. She does get it to Sadler, and now taken away by the defense, number 21, Lauren Hillens. Now taken right, way, right away back by Cooper. And there's a trip by Dietzen, and they are gonna blow that dead right in front of the official there in the blue shirt. Hard to miss that call. And that will mean a free kick for Cooper at about the 41 yard line. Not a lot of urgency out there if you're Cooper down five nothing. I'd like to see them, even though it's probably very unrealistic they're gonna get back in this match. I'd like to see them playing with some sort of sense of urgency, trying to get on the board here. It's what's missing I think right now. If you're a Cooper player but they are against a very formidable opponent here in Benilde as they kick it ahead into the offensive zone. And that was Richardson, just gets the ball taken away nicely there by number 10 for Cooper, Jace Herman. Now Granboy, back to Sadler. So it's the Herman, or excuse me, the Sadler and Granboy show for Cooper. Those two players are dangerous, but unfortunately they don't have a lot of help around them to try to get any type of momentum is now Tennyson, who has hardly seen the ball at all for Benil. Actually, that is number 27, Lucy Hansen now in nets for Benil. They made a substitution here at some point. When you're up five nothing, you wanna get all your players out there, get them some varsity experience for down the line. You never know with injuries and so forth. Want to give all the players a chance to improve, get that varsity experience. Enter the game for the Red Knights, number 22, Abby Garvin. More now substitutions, the Abby Garvin number in. Number 17, Katie Velez. Number five, Emma Dyson. And in number 18, Savannah Prima. Ball goes out of bounds, Benilde will retain possession, and we're under 14 minutes to go here, second half, five nothing Benilde. Looking ahead here in their schedule, the 
nilled after today's Saturday match. Zero. They have Chan Hazen, Cheska, then they're at Breck. They're on the road for three at Bloomington Jefferson, at Robbinsdale Cooper, then back home against Quarter St. Kid, Louis Red Park. Knights. That'll be a good rivalry there, cross 100 rivalry, St. Louis Park and Benilde, then Bloomington Kennedy at Chan Hazen at Chaska. Number 16. And they wrap it up back here on Kia. October 8th against Gilliard. Jefferson. And a corner kick now for Benilde with under 14 minutes to go. Ball in the middle there, played by number 21. That is Lauren Hillens. And now fighting for it is Kristen Doherty. But Granboy comes away with it for Cooper. She kicks it in the middle, trying to get it ahead. It's gonna be a race there, but Junker is gonna get there first on defense for the Red Knights. Being chased there by number seven, Caden Camp. Ball goes out of bounds and Cooper will now throw Jordan it in Watts, in the Benil offensive zone. Under nice 13 team. minutes to go here in the match. Following this match, the boys will be playing Robbinsdale Cooper. 15 minutes after this game concludes, we'll be bringing it to you right here on Park TV 16 Sports, streaming live on YouTube. And now here comes Dietzen, tried to get it ahead to Richardson, but blocked by Villa Lobos. And now here comes Cooper in the offensive zone, but right away, just when they get the ball, it gets taken away right away by Benil. That has been the theme all afternoon. That's Zavril now, number nine with it. And it does go out of bounds, so that Jordan means Cooper takes five. over possession. Emma Dyson. Gorgeous afternoon here. If you're a Minnesotan, you live for days like today. Turner Hawks, number 21. Faith Holmes. Now the throw in by the freshman Faith Holmes. On the far sideline and out of bounds. Cooper retains possession, thrown in quickly by Caden Camp. Now Granboy. Granboy trying to split the defense, but nice defense there by number nine for Benilde is Mary Zaverell. Just when Cooper thinks they can get a chance, the defense of Benilde is outstanding. They've allowed no goals here so far this season. And if they can't get a shot on net, it's hard for the other team to score. And just physically, Benilde is stronger, taller, pushing their weight around. Very tough for Cooper to get any kind of momentum against this defense. And taking the time there is Lucy Hansen. And here comes Benilde on the far side. Zavarol gets it ahead. Ooh, and misplayed there. And another turnover, rare mental miscue there five. this time by Dyson. Grace Horeshi. Now the throw in by Cooper. And nice pass now, Dietzen at midfield. Loses possession momentarily. Now that's Granboy with it. Watch her go against Dietzen as she gets double teamed. And now Dietzen comes away with it. And she's got three with her lead pass. No offsides there. That's number 16 with it. That is Gillian. Gillian in the corner, burns the defense, comes right in and oh, Phil Lobos comes right over from the right side. What a daring play by her. Excuse me, that was actually number 10, Jace Herman. And that almost looked like a certain goal. She came right in there, but quickly closing the gap was Herman there to save her goaltender and another goal by Benilde, I think. And there's going to be a corner Pretty kick by Richardson, I believe. Number 17, Ava Wagner. Now the ball played in the middle, headed by Villa Lobos. Where is it gonna end up? Right in the middle of the header, and Juron quickly goes to the ground to make that save. Nice job by AJ Juron. She punts it out to midfield, trying to get it to number 18, who I don't have a name for, so she's just a number, unfortunately. Now that's 17, Velez. And now Horeshi on the right side, with Dietzen on her left and see what she can do. She goes against the freshman defender, trying to outbeat her with her speed, and she tried to get it on net, but it went out of bounds, and you can see she was definitely frustrated with her Edging hands the on her head the there, Knights. knowing that Number she 17, Ava Wagner. had an opportunity to get on the Annie scoreboard. Goldenbrook. Now, just under nine minutes to go here, half number two, Benilde in control as we look at number 18, Allie. Annie Gollenvo, and now a kick by Cooper. And boy, Benilde keeping the pressure on. 
almost like a press in basketball, really feeling it here. And that's number 22, Abby Garvin, to throw it in. Gets it ahead to number 16, Gillian. Gillian now, she loses it to Cooper. Nice steal there by number seven for Cooper. That's Caden Camp. Camp still trying to play it, fighting hard with Millen, number 16, Gillian. And she looked for a foul there, but no whistle. They play on, and now back with all that speed. Number eight is Megan Watts. Gets it to Hanson, the goaltender. Now intercepted by Cooper's number 18. Taken away, though, by Garvin. Garvin now. Gets it ahead, intercepted by Grand Boy. She tried to split it right between the legs of the Benil defenders. That's number 21, Hillens. And now Grand Boy, and we got a whistle. And a turnover, not sure what the call was there. Some discussion between the referee in blue and the Benil players, but they will get a free kick. Clock continues to run, eight, seven and a half minutes to go here. And there's the kick and uh, another whistle out of bounds. And the possession will go for Benil. That's number 16, Gillian. She hands it off to Garvin and she'll throw it in at around the 40 yard line, trying to get it into number 21, Hillens. Hillens plays it out of bounds and it goes off Hillens. And now Cooper will have a throw in. Attention the game for the Hawks. And that's Marin Sherber on the near side. Number eight, Jordan Sadler. Lots of substitutions. Sadler now checking in. She'll replace Ella Camp. That's why we wait for that. Substitution. Number 10 will take over Jace Herman to throw it in for Cooper. Trying to get their second shot on goal. And they get in number 18, headed there by Avery Junker. And now taken away by Garvin. Garvin now, a little bit of speed, trying to get it ahead to number 16. That is Gillian. Gillian still playing it. Tried to center it towards number 18, Gollenvo. And now taken away by Granboy, number four at midfield. Watch her operate here. She stops the ball and now gets it to Sadler. Another good dribbler. Nice give and go there between Sadler and Granboy, and she decides to take a big shot from about 30 yards away. Didn't quite get the shot off that she wanted. Showed a little bit of frustration there. Can't blame her. I'm surprised she didn't just try to dribble in there, but they've had so few shots on net, I could see her anxiousness of wanting just to get a shot off at all. And unfortunately, it didn't come off the foot the way she wanted or what I can tell she's capable of doing. Okay, now Benil, number 13, Junker. Playing catch there now to the near side as they wheel the ball around to this side. And now they'll try it over to number 16, Gillian. Gillian with the give and go to Gollenvo. Gollenvo at midfield tried to center it and taken away by number 21, Faith Holmes. And now taken away back by Richardson. Now Richardson at the 30 with the left foot tries to get it ahead to Gillian and just couldn't quite catch her. Nice idea there as A.J. Duran comes out the nets, kicks it to midfield. Now number seven with it. That is Caden Camp. Camp at the 40, tried the lead pass, but there was nobody running for it. A little lack of communication perhaps by Robbinsdale Cooper. Ball goes all the way down to the corner there as they retrieve it, and it's gonna be Cooper Ball, free kick. It seems to me that one of the issues with the pandemic and how they're playing this game is maybe they're just using one ball. It seemed to me that in the past there'd be more balls around because when they go out of bounds they can just use a different soccer ball and it seems to me that they're limiting the number of balls as some sort of prevention. I'm not sure that's true. It just feels and looks that way and it does add to less actual soccer action while they're chasing down these balls. Again, it reminds me of playing ball in the backyard where there was baseball, tennis, and go into another yard. You had to go chase it. All right, now here's a nice lead pass to Richardson. She's got two defenders against her. The left foot tried to hook it inside that near post. Boy, she has a heck of a powerful shot there. Watch Richardson here from that far away, tried to bend it right in there. Juron was there to make the save, I think, but boy, a lot of pace on that ball. 
winding down here. I think we're under five minutes to go, 446, as Villa Lobos will kick it off. For Robbinsdale Cooker, gets it to head to Katie Velez, and she goes down, and they did blow the whistle on the push against Benild. So that's a turnover. Winding down here, Benild firmly in control, 5-0. Cooper now with the free kick, that is Jace Herman. Trying to get some sort of offense here for Cooper before time runs out. They've had two shots on net the entire match. Great defense by the Red Knights, and that's number 22, kicks it out of bounds. Now Sadler will come on the near side, and she'll throw it in just over the 50-yard line, trying to get it to Grand Boy. She turns, and it went out of bounds for Benil. Under three minutes to play here. Following this match, we'll have the boys Benilde St. Margaret's soccer team hosting Robbinsdale Cooper boys. I think they're warming up around here somewhere. That match is scheduled to start at 3.15. We will be streaming that live on Park TV 16 Sports. Now here comes Benilde, back on offense. That is Gollin Vo in the middle. To the far side, number 21, Hillens now. She'll try to lead pass, and that was nicely defended by Cooper as it comes back out towards midfield. Turning on it is Zabral. Now Zabral ahead. And dribbling in the midfield is Benilde's number 17, Ava Wagner. Now Richardson, her shot blocked by Villalobos and it ricochets out to midfield. Picked up by Cooper and there are two defenders there for Benilde. We'll have none of that and down goes Zavril. No whistle on that call. Play goes on and oh, there was a whistle and that's gonna go against Cooper. Free kick for Benilde and they're in a huge hurry. She'll kick it back on the defensive side. And now we're under two minutes to go here. Will Benilde continue to try to get more scoring? Are they content to let the clock wear out and show a little bit of mercy towards Robbinsdale Cooper? And now here comes Cooper on the turnover. Boy, they would love to get a goal going in to the bus ride home, I would think. Anything to get some momentum out of this match. Now to Golanvo midfield. She kicks it to the far side. Defensively, Zavril, will the ball make it through? Zavril still kicking it. Now Golenville comes up, gets by her. The one minute now remaining. that's number five, that the is Emma minute. Dyson. Dyson now at midfield. One minute to go in the match. Dyson tried to kick it ahead, blocked partially by Benil. Now back out at midfield. Golenville trying to get it, number 18, battling with Granboy. Now that is number 21, Faith Holmes. Holmes now, tried to keep it in bounds, and it's still in bounds on the far sideline. Grand boy over there, and they both go down. If you don't think this game can get rough, folks, just watch that play. As Grand boy goes down with, I think that's Zabral over there. Waning moments of game number two. Benilde's gonna go up two nothing in the conference. They are undefeated and unscored upon through two matches. And that's a good sign. I think this is a state tournament team here, folks. They were there last year. They lost by one in the quarterfinals to Blake, who they just beat in match number one. So there might be a changing of the guard at the top of the Metro West Conference. And coming out of this section is that is the final horn, signifying the end of the match. Your final score from Benilde St. Margaret's, they win 5 nothing. So for Paul Broden, our producer, I'm Robert Christensen. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.